What is up everyone? Today we're gonna tell you about a really cool dragging shutter effect that you can do for your videos on your phone. This is a super basic technique that's actually been around for a long time. And what you're essentially doing is shooting at 24 frames per second, but then rather than shooting your shutter speed at 1 48th, you're slowing it down to like 1 20th, 1 15th, or like 1 10th. It's really just that simple. All you're doing is turning your shutter speed down so it drags. Now, the settings are simple, but the shooting can be a little tricky, so let's get into that. So we're gonna have Caleb. What's up, Niles? Come help, oh hey man. What's up everybody, we're back together in New York City, what up? We're in New York, and we thought this was a pretty cool technique just to do a little how-to video, I'll tell you about our lessons a little bit later in this video, but for this little how-to rad effect, haven't used it too much in videos, but it's been something I've wanted to make a video on. And this like slow draggy shutter effect works really well in transitions. It works really good for just like GIFs or small like mm -hmm. multimedia vibe stuff. Okay, and uh, go. And go. Hey, explain what you're doing. Yeah, basically just playing with this little anamorphic rig with the uh, slow shutter and then just trying to get like a bit of a parallax movement where people are kind of walking past and you're moving the opposite direction it gives like maximum motion blur basically yeah um, it has kind of that like mixed media photo look almost yeah yeah, yeah. but it is a video clip but you're just slowing the shutter down but the cool thing is too you're getting the real-time audio yeah. so when you're yeah. mixing that yeah Right now, multimedia edits are pretty trendy. You're seeing a lot of people lay photos over footage, lay GIFs, things boomerang. Things. How much content can you put in one second? Yeah, like how many, how much different kinds of content can you yeah. have in that one second? All you have to know though, is you do on your phone, this is shooting on a phone, mm -hmm. getting that cool draggy shutter look. You don't need our lenses, but you do need, you do need our app. So the Moment Pro camera app lets you control the shutter speed individually. The native app does not allow you to do that. So you can't actually get like a really, draggy shutter. So all you're doing, like Niles was saying, you turn down your shutter speed, mm -hmm. and what that's doing is giving you like every second, every- It's giving you, giving you way more motion blur. Every frame per second has, that frame has a long shutter. Yes. So after you've slowed your shutter speed down, you might think to yourself, but that shot's gonna be crazy overexposed, which you were gonna be right, so you do need an ND filter if you wanna do this in daytime, because mm -hmm. when, you're when you open up that shutter to be really long and draggy, it's gonna let more light in, um, giving you a brighter image. But you can also do this at night without an ND filter. So when it comes to actually shooting these, I will say it can be kind of disorienting if you don't have a subject that isn't as blurry. So I kind of found while I was shooting these, if I was shooting Caleb or Zach or something, I needed to be moving at the same pace as my subject in order for them to not look as blurry then everything else looked blurry. Sometimes it looks cool, like the subway was just so much motion that yeah. it's almost like disorienting, but um, yeah, I definitely think in order to shoot this effectively, you kind of have to have a subject that then as you move in transition, you're seeing that blur really, really come into play. But that brings us to the sponsor of today's video. We had to tell Squarespace and Wix that we can't do this week, um, but we want to thank Moment and Moment Lessons <laughs> for being... <laughs> Okay, but for real, we wanna tell you about Moment Lessons in this video, similar to how we did a little how-to topic on this video, uh, Moment, we offer lessons. We have worked with creators who are professionals in their field to not only tell you how to do something, but show you. So if you're interested in learning and you're into that, um, check them out, link below, Moment Lessons. You can learn anything. It's like a deep dive into their creative process from photography, there's some filmmaking workshops, mm -hmm. and it's pretty dope. What's the sweet spot? I think the sweet spot is one over 11. Um, yeah. It kind of depends on how much action and like how much your subject is moving um, and how much you want the effect. If you want like crazy, trippy. <laughs> if you want like crazy, trippy feelings, then feelings. If you want crazy, trippy shots, just crank that thing low. We're just kind of playing with it. You guys are playing with it. Uh, yeah, we're in the Big Apple, baby. Woo! 
This is one of those techniques that it's fun to just play around with. It's gonna take a lot of practice. You're gonna get some shots that you don't like, some that you're stoked on. Again, it's just a cool little thing to do. And using our app, you don't even need a lens, but say it's like $6 app, you... No. Let's go through it, who cares? The heater in this Airbnb just turned on. And it's super loud. And it's super loud, sorry. But Probably we, sounds horrible, but. We're gonna finish this video. <laughs> so download the app, check it out, link in the description. Uh, you can also pick up an ND filter for your phone, which is not too expensive. We have some cheaper options as well on the Moment Shop. And again, yeah, just mess around with it. You can do some tracking shots, some orbiting shots. Yep. You can do a lot of handheld when you're shooting a slow shutter, because the slow shutter actually kind of absorbs the balance. It also adds a little motion blur, so I like the look. We shot a little bit on the Osmo 3 and a little bit handheld, and we're pretty pretty stoked on, on the results. But like Caleb said, not every shot is gonna work. This is pretty experimental, but I definitely think it's something that looks really cool. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, that's what you're going for. You're going for like something new, creative, and fun to try. Yeah, and we shot last night in Times Square in the pouring down rain, yeah. like so rainy. Yeah. Um, and we had a couple friends with us, okay. Zach Lower, um, Joel, and so it, it was fun to shoot. It's like Yoel. Yoel? It's either Joel or Yoel. You said Joel. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yoel, all good. <laughs> All right, so thanks again for watching this how-to video. And again, check out the lessons if you are keen. Um, yeah. It's about 7.30 a.m. here in New York, and I think we're gonna go do some stuff or something. When I popped off, then you go. Thanks for watching. I know the channel's been a little bit like all over the map lately with like, yeah, new faces. Like yep. props to Currents for cranking on so many different videos and, uh, and Taylor as well. but. The gang's all, it'll, it'll all get back together. We're just yeah. working on different projects, a lot of products we've been selling this holiday season. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, if you're confused. So are we. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this little draggy shutter effect is actually vibey. No worries. Chill. <laughs> we don't know what we're talking about anymore. I've said, like, yes, yeah, stoked, like, seven times in this Yeah, time. dude, I'm stoked on it, bro. Bro, I'm stoked on my Americano. Dude, I'm stoked on I have my Bulletproof in the microwave right now. All right, see you guys. Bye.